Hello and welcome to this week's video. This week, today, I am filming a questions tag. It is a random questions tag full of like deep and personal questions, which, you know, we'll see how that goes. Um, I found this question tag on Pinterest. So they actually have a lot of really good like YouTube tags. That was kind of shocking to me, but I'll take what I can get. It is 20 questions, so we will be answering all of them. Anyway, let's get right into it. Question number one. If you are in a bad mood, do you prefer to be alone or be with someone to cheer you up? For a little bit, I prefer to be alone. Like I need like an hour to cool down. If I'm in a bad, like if we're talking like anger, then it's like, I need to be alone. I need to decompress with my phone and just like have a distraction. I don't want to think about like what happened because I'm already like, my brain is very overwhelming, like it's already going over the whole situation, whatever it was. So it's like I just need to like let go of that for a little bit. And then like an hour later I usually calm down and I'm like, okay, like let's get over this. And then I'm better and I'm okay being around people. But the, immediately after something happens and if I'm upset, I need some time. Number two, who is the one person you tell everything to? I mean, there's like a lot of people that I tell everything to. Like if we're talking everything, everything, it's usually Natalie, my friend, hello. Otherwise, yeah, I tell my friends like basically everything, I, my family, every, basically everything, you know, like it just really depends on what it is we're talking about. Number three, what kind of parent do you think you'd be? Hopefully a good one. I'm a very prepared person, so I think I'll be a good mom, but um, also, like, I've never even been around babies, so I should probably, like, do that before I become a mom. <laughs> like I said, I'm prepared, I'm organized, like, I always have, like, emergency supplies and stuff like that. So I think in that case, I'll be good. I hope they come to me for whatever they need and feel loved and, you know, just a good mom. Have you ever lost someone close to you? Yes. Favorite holiday and why? Christmas. Oh my god. I mean, do I even have to say anything besides presents? <laughs> Obviously there's a lot more than that, but the presents are a great deal. I would say Christmas because like the lights, oh my god, I love going like driving through all the neighborhoods, looking at the different lights and designs and like blow ups and all they all the stuff they did. I think it's so beautiful, especially like with the windows down if it's not too cold and just like hot cocoa, like I love that kind of thing. The baking of cookies and like yummy food and being with family and friends and like winter break during school and stuff like that like it's very hard to beat Christmas for me I just think it's the best holiday how long is the longest you had feelings for someone probably a year would you rather go to the movies or watch movies at home that's also a very complicated question because I don't love movie theaters like I don't feel very safe in them but going to a movie theater is a great environment like atmosphere you know like you get to be like surround sound, the big screen, movie theater popcorn, stuff like that I really like. And if it's a movie that I really wanted to see, I agree, like a lot of the time they're movie theater movies. Like I don't want to watch it on a smaller TV at home and I have to like make it dark in the room. So I think I prefer movie theaters, but I am a person that loves my house and loves being home. So I also love watching movies at home, especially right now with the pandemic. So I would say both, honestly. What was the best phase of your life? High key, oh my god. Like, okay, senior years of school in general have been by far the best. Senior year of high school was amazing, but I think what beats it was first semester senior year of college. That's all I got because the pandemic happened and obviously school went online. But when it was in person, I mean, I was thriving. Like that was a great semester. I had finally like a lab partner that I had in all of my classes we, because we became friends. I loved all my teachers, I loved all my classmates, like I loved the atmosphere and I, I just felt like I was really thriving. And then the pandemic hit. <laughs> but that like, I don't even know what that was. What was it? It was August till, no, I guess it was second semester senior year, was it? Yeah, it was second semester senior year. So it was January until right before spring break for COVID. If we're counting all of senior year, then that was like August of 2020, of 2019. And then January 2021, 2020, God, I can't do math. But like those two times, last year's school years were, yeah, it was great. Last movie that made you cry. I don't cry a lot. I don't really cry in movies either. Like I, I don't even watch a lot of movies. And if I'm going to, it's never like a sad movie. It would be a horror movie. 
So a movie that made me cry, oh, I don't, I really don't even know. I don't even, I can't even think of a sad movie in my head. What's a sad movie? I can think of TV shows, but movie, I don't know. The last show that made me cry, I'm trying to be accurate. I'm trying to think of the shows I last watched. Ooh, that was rough. But I don't think I cried. I would say probably The Haunting of Bly Manor, which is a TV show very devastating finale <laughs> but besides that like i can't think of a movie and no other tv show really makes me cry like that what are things you value the most in someone kindness being like open-minded or progressive i don't know just being a good person like i really value people that have morals <laughs> that's like a serious thing and i feel like this year uncovered a lot of people that like shockingly didn't and I really value morals in people and I value like humanity and empathy so I would probably go with that. Obviously humor too, I love someone that's funny but yeah. What do you care the most about? Human rights? <laughs> probably. Like if we're getting into like issues, women's rights, human rights, just like general equality, stuff like that, you know. Have you ever broke someone's heart? I think I have. Yikes. Has your heart ever been broken? No. Would you ever marry someone for their money? Ah, why are you asking me that? That's personal. No, I wouldn't just for the money. Like, if they had money, that's a bonus. But, um, no, I would never marry someone just for their money. That's just, that's just not who I am, you know? Me preaching about empathy and humanity, and I'm like, yes, money! No, I'm kidding. But, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't. What's the worst advice you've ever been given? I don't know. I, I'm not, do people really give bad advice? I don't think so. There was a time that someone was encouraging me to go to a college and they had gone there in the past and they were talking about their experiences and how they felt like unsafe and certain things that had happened there. And I was like, I don't understand how this is encouraging me to go there. I'm obviously not gonna go there now. It was like immediately written off my list. So yeah, that's pretty bad advice, I'd say. What's the best advice you've ever been given? <sighs> I really, people don't like give me advice. <laughs> um, I don't know, wear a seatbelt. Like I'm very big on people having to wear seatbelts just to be safe, you know? I've heard a lot of, I've seen a lot of really bad accidents that happen because people aren't wearing seatbelts. My favorite thing is actually a quote that I read and I'm not gonna get it 100% right because I'm not gonna look, I'm lazy. But it's something about how everything takes time so if you're worried about the amount of time that something's going to take you to do even if it's a dream you're following don't count that just go for your dream because everything takes time no matter what the time is going to pass and that's just so true and that's such like a relieving statement to me because it's like even if i know that this is going to take four years or two years or however many like amount of time it's going to take me if I get it done, that's still a huge accomplishment, and that's something I should be proud of, and yeah, I like something like that. What's the biggest lie you've told to someone? That is one I'm not gonna answer. Why would I ever answer that? Be like, hey, Natalie, I lied to you about this. Just kidding. I would, like, I'm not gonna answer that, and Natalie, don't worry, I didn't lie to you, but, like, seriously, like, why would anyone answer that? If you had an hour left to live, what would you do? An hour, only an hour. High key, I think I would, like, get my par my family and friends together and be like, group hug, like one last hug, like I love you guys. I feel like I just want to be surrounded by the people I love. A lot of people say I'd eat something good. If I'm going to die anyway, I don't care about food, you know. I'd rather just be surrounded by the people I love, doing something I love, somewhere I love, like, you know, something like that. I don't know. Maybe listening to my favorite song. Number 19 is first impressions. That's all it says. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to guess uh, like, what people think of me when they first meet me? I don't know. I hope I make a good Im first impression. I think I do. It honestly depends on who I'm talking to and who's around as well, because if someone's more outgoing, then I'll take a shyer spot, but if no one's outgoing, then I'll kind of jump in to be, you know, more of an outgoing person. So I kind of adapt like that, but it really just depends on the situation. All right, and the last question is, Describe your ideal significant other. It's kind of like the question we were talking about before, honestly. Like, I would say someone that's kind. Someone that's funny. Attractive, doesn't hurt. <laughs> you know, just like the general qualities of a good person. 
empathetic, like, open-minded, sweet, funny, just that kind of stuff, you know? I could go on and on, but that's what I would wrap it up to be. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. My shoulder popped when I did that. I don't know if you heard that. I had a lot of fun answering these deep and personal questions. I actually saved two other tags that are like supposed to be legit deep questions. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will continue to do more tags like this. Leave a comment down below what's the last movie or TV show that made you cry because I can't think of any, like genuinely besides Bly, so I'm curious now. Yeah, so make sure to comment that down below, like this video, hit subscribe, and hit the bell next to subscribe to get notifications for when I post. But if you didn't know, I post every single Wednesday, so I will see you next week with another new video. Goodbye. <laughs>